Hey guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read a book I read Freddy and the Super Secret to Valentine's Day, Chapter 5. One, three day. When I got back. <laughs> wow, what a mess. That day I missed. When I got home from school, I threw my backpack down in the kitchen and called, Hey mom, where are you? I'm in the laundry room, honey. Just finishing folding some clothes. Bingo, this was my lucky day. I went to find her. Where's Susie? Hi, sweetie. She, she's over at Kimberly. How was your day? It was okay. We decorated our back for... The Valentine's Day party. That sounds like fun. Oh, and Max got to send to the principal office again. Really? What for? He told the whole class that Jessie was my girlfriend. And he said that I should kiss her on the Valentine's Day. I was so embarrassed. Why? Because Jessie is just a friend. She's not my girlfriend. Why can't boys just love friends with girls? With girls? They can. You know Max likes to tease people. My mom said, Well, Jessie is really tough. She, she could be, beat Max up any day. Every day. Jessie is a very smart girl. She even stopped tough and she's she's even she's tough thoughtful and she's tough and she always use her words and stands up for what she believes in she never gets in the fight that's why max always gets sent to the principal office yes she doesn't yes she's really brave i wish i could talk talk back to max like that i said max is a just big boy remember i said that Bully has only power you act afraid. From Jesse, never act afraid. I'm glad she, I got I'm glad she's my friend. Me too. Is that all my stuff? I asked Pony to the pile of clothes. Yes, are you looking for something? No, I just thought I could help you carry upstairs. Thanks, honey. My mom said that's so sweet. For you, Ola, give me a minute. We can take it all up. Oh, I can take mine myself, I said. My mom now you're getting to be so much big boy. Freddy, do you remember that? That they figured out? And he's not going up his line, and he's gonna go to. For the, for the Jesse Super Secret Valentine mm, Super Secret Valentine mm, mm, Riding and he loves her Cash I grab the stuff for school and start out the door My mom stopped me. Don't just throw them on the floor. You need to put them in the jar where they belong. Sure, no problem, I answered. I'll come and help you soon. I'm done here. Into the hall, I didn't have a lot of time that the Valentine stuff wouldn't have to work slash. My mom didn't have much more to fold. I snuck into the kitchen and stuck my snug. In the kitchen, some stuff and clothes down the table. My mom kept the art supplies in the cabinet above the counter, so there's no way to reach without standing in a chair. I would have to move one chair from the kitchen and the table over the stand. Those chairs are really heavy, heavy to move. Oof. I would have to lift. I would have to. 
I have to lift one big cup. If I push across the floor, my mom would hear noise and tell me I need to see what's going on. I pick up a chair and, and grab a softy boy and, and it was heavy. I started to walk across the kitchen. The chair keeps bumping to my leg. It was really hurt, but I just had to get those supplies. Finally, I got to the counter gently and, turn, and put the chair down. I reached and opened the candy rat. There was just... There was just a little too... Sh I was just a little too short. No, I was go. What? What should I... I... Now what? 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 Now what was I going to do? I I hit my forehead with a palm and a hand. I I hit my forehead with a palm and a hand. Ding 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 ding. I was running out of time. Just then, the great idea popped in my head of a chair. When I was too little, my parents used to have me sit on the phone book so I could reach the kitchen table. I stepped on the chair. Quite heavy food open on the over the phone, and by the phone, I took out the phone book and I went to sit on the top in the chair. I climbed up and stood in my tippy toes and reached the highest I could, and I pulled the handle of the cabinet and sprang it so quickly it almost went flying off. The chair grabbed the counter just in time. Phew! Quickly, quickly pulled all the valen I quickly pulled all the Valentine supplies in the shop and set them down in the set them down in the cap in the counter. Climb up the chin and stop for a minute. Listen to Lucky Lad Rose Landry and sounding of the joy. I put the phone book away and making sure I exact same spot where I find it. My mom is such a neat freak. She noticed even teeniest thing in a, is a, out of place. She carried then I then I carry a chair back from the table, and the right leg was going to have the big birth tomorrow. I start to sh shove the Valentine's thing between the layer and folded clothes. The scissor and the root under my t-shirt and tuck the red paper. Marker, stamp, sticker between my pants. Bzzz. Oh, great! Oh, great! That that was the dryer that Sam meant on the cold were all finished. My mom could cold quicker than anybody. She'll be heating up there really soon. I had no time to it. I straightened up the pile of coal, making making sure none of the supplies and carry pick up and tuck all the top layer under under out. Then I carefully pick up the whole thing at the top and layer it under my tree. I didn't want to take the chance of anything falling out. I tiptoed out of the kitchen and headed to see over the top of the pile. And I didn't want to trip on the drop. Everything in the floor. I had just reached the first stair, and I hear the voice, Freddy, is that you? My mom calls from the down hall. Oh no, what if she caught me with the I, I wouldn't be in big trouble. Susie and I were... I won't be in big trouble. Susie and I will uh, uh, be in a big trouble. Susie and I were not allowed to have that, that stuff in our room because it made a big mess. And my mom didn't want us getting Lou or my girls hiding on the carpet. 
I couldn't let her know I was saying anything. I would not have actually act totally, completely normal. Yeah, Mom, it's me, Justin. My mom appeared carrying her own pile of laundry. I thought you had one phone up this a long time ago. Think fast, think fast. Oh, yeah, I was going straight up, but my stomach were growling, so I thought in the kitchen and, and get myself a snack. Why didn't you tell me, tell me you were hungry? I wouldn't have made you something to eat. Oh, that's okay, Ma, I said, smiling. Remember, I'm not a baby anymore. I want to do something myself now. I want to smile back. I know I'm very proud of you, but then I'm an awful pile of clothes. You've got this, he said, reaching the hand toward me. Let me take half of those. No, I yelled, turning quickly and said. She couldn't touch my paw. The scissors almost slide out, but I caught them just in time. I struck them, but with my mom even noticing. My goodness, Freddy, I was trying to help you. Sorry, Mom. It was just I wanted to do something by myself. Remember? Well, all right, but careful. I don't want to trip going up the stairs. Don't worry, Mom, I said, taking a deep breath. I'll be extra careful. The super secret Valentine. I thought I and never make it up to my room without dropping all the stuff. But 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 I was so nervous because my mom was talk my mom because my mom was walking right behind me the whole time. When we reached the top of the stairs she said, here, honey, at least let me help you open the door. I wasn't going to argue with her about that, since I didn't really have to free hand. But since I didn't really have free hand, but, but then she followed me into the room. Thanks. Mom, I can do the rest myself. You can go now, I said over my shoulder. How about... It's just to separate for it for you, she said, beating my pile more, more tight. That would make it easier for you put, to put away. I was starting to think I was going to get caught in Global Red. Oh, that must be Susie Kimber. Susie Kim, Kimberly's mom was going to drop her, her off. I'll be back, my mom said. As she ran down the bedroom and down to get luck free, I set my pal down so that anyone couldn't see me what I was doing. My mom would kill me having art supplies in my room, and Susie would team me about having a girlfriend, and she had to be super secret. I pulled out the scissors, glue and paper and micro sticker and stamped out of a pile. Think that my shirt was all clean. First, I put all the clothes away, and I sat down on the floor to get in the room. The Valentine's had to be super, extra, super nice. I didn't want to look like uh, another another Valentine since Jessie was really into sport. I decided to make her Valentine in the shape of basketball. I drew a big round circle and cut it out. And I drew a line to make it look like a real basketball. Next, I cut the cooks so I could I cut another and another each combo out of the to the floor. I couldn't put the cook her. I was getting really frustrated. A lot of fun. There was a knock, knock on my door. My handle started to turn. My heart feel a beat. I ran over to the door and opened the gate. I didn't want anyone to open it. Open poop hat, poop hat, to the screen. Go away, I'm busy. I'm not going away until you give me a pencil. 
I have to do my homework. I can play my new pencil. Heart on it. I know you have it. I do not, I yell. Yes, you do. Just, just use another one. You have a gazillion pencils on your desk. You can have the heart one. I have to use the heart one. If you're not going to look for it, then I will, she said. Then I pushed the door hard and I flew open. I fell right on my butt. She pushed the door hard as she pulled. Get out! She scrambled in my face, but it was too late. Judy said everything. Oh gosh, she said, her eyes getting big all over me. You're such in trouble. I wait, just, just wait until my season. I slammed the door and closed. That's just what I didn't need. My mom couldn't see this. Please don't tell her, I beg. Why not? You know, you're not alone to have food and markers in your room. So you said, Granny, you're a bird. If you could keep my secret, then I'll, I'll. You what? I'll be be good and every one of your chocolate kisses, Susie added. All of my chocolate kisses? But those are my favorite. Do we have a deal, Susie asked, holding her pinky pink away? Oh, just some milk chocolate kisses. It's, it's all or nothing. It's deal or not, Susie asked. She was getting a little important. Deal, I said. We love our fingers. Good. You can leave. Not so fast. I still don't have my heart pencil. He said, you still don't have told me what you're doing. Nothing. If it's nothing, then why you have the Valentine stuff left here? You might be making Valentine for someone. Oh, yet yeah, I asked, who is for? I couldn't tell her it was Jessie. She never stopped teasing me. Oh, I know she's just my It's your girlfriend. How many times do you have? Do I have to tell you? But I don't have a girlfriend. I yelled loudly. My mom knocked the door. Freddy, is everything all right here? I put my finger on her lip and spurred hard to Susie. Then I whispered, if you tell, the deal is off. She said to open her mouth. Are you sure she's going to tell me? But she said, everything is fine, Mom. Freddy's just telling me a story. Well, okay, but you're supposed to be doing your homework, Susie. I will in a minute. I am just looking for my new pencil with hearts on it. How about come and I'll help you look? And to see things up, my mom asked you to do it. No, no, that that's okay. We can find it. We both answered together. Two more minutes later, Susie and I was coming in to get you. Okay, Mom, I hear you. Two more minutes, Susie answered. Finally, Mom walked away. A brief sight relief. Thanks for not telling on me, Susie. You're the best sister in the whole world. I know, she said, Granny. I want her to get out of my room so I could finish my valentine. Maybe if she told the dump where the dump pencil might be, she'll go look for it and forget about asking what the valentines were for. Why don't you check the bathroom for the pencil? I think I remember sending the counter in the floor this morning. The bathroom. I have a pencil in the bathroom. I don't know. But you're pr practically right there. Maybe I took it there with you because you were planning to planning on t talking to school, and you didn't want to forget it. Are you sure? She asked. Why don't you just go check I said shoving out of her door? It better be there, she called and I tore the bathroom. I shut the door and looking in a mess in the floor. In my room, I was only the matter of time. 
I am not camping and knocking Logan. I have to finish Valentine's and then match seeing this one back. I will hide the toys under my bed until I can figure out a way getting them back down soon. I fight a big stick. It makes me super to keep Valentine's one's heart. But I work. I couldn't see. Look. Look on Jesse. I worked it. I could wait to see. See the, see the look on Jesse's face when I gave to her on first. I say. Wait. Chapter 7. The Big Day. And Chapter 8 is a red, to red and a tomato. Red tomato. The Big Day. The long time they were alive. I had been waiting all week, and I seemed I would never come. Every year, I loved getting all the candy and cars from my friend. But today, I'm going to be extra special because I will finally go to give Jesse the super secret Valentine. I decided to give her at recess. No one else was looking. Maybe I could sneak behind the building. We hide from Matt, and he went to chase us. No one will act. No one will usually go back there. I didn't want anyone else to know that I made her a valentine, not even Robbie. This would just be our little secret. You see, he's really good to keep things secret. I get dressed and put in my pants and the spread pocket and want to take any chances if the card fell out in the pocket. Everyone would see it, and the whole plan would be ruined. I took the one out of my basket ball card box, and where I had tied it, it folded carefully and stuck in the deep end of my pants pocket. And I really tried to push it down far as it go, and I put on, put on my red shirt. Everyone, everyone has supposed to wear something red today. I hope my lucky shark took the belt loop. Now it's there for breakfast. Susie was already in the table. Next to each other and place in the Valentine's surprise. My little one was stuffed shut. And he had a tag. He had a tag that. Tag that you say. Talk that you said, you're so cute, you could eat up. Will you be my valentine, Susie? Said stuffed pinky cat, cur cat with a tag. You are perfect. You're perfect, be mine. In the between of her box of chocolate. Happy Valentine's Day, Freddy, said my mom and dad. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. You too. Can I eat one of these candies? I asked, starting, starting to open. Open the box. When? Now? I asked my mom. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Then my dad. Close the box. You can eat each other. You can't eat each other. Why not? Because they're. Because they're there for us to share. Susie snow grabbed my wrist. You get your grump grubby hand off the box. Let's go on me, you little brat. Are you trying to shake my hand free? Oh, for heaven's sake. This, I saw. It's supposed to be the day of love and kindness. I, I, I can't be kindness. Can't you two get along for one day? Your mother has made something very special for breakfast. Then my dad, let let go of each other and sit down. 
and my mom brought plates and set them in front of it. Well, it looks yummy. Mom, I said, what is it? The heart-shaped waffle with whipping cream and strawberry. Mmm, with freddies in my mouth. Please, if you're not a monkey. He sure looks like a baboon to me, so he said laughing. Get out of my chair! He said, jumping around, howling like Luffy. Ooh ah, ooh ah! Stop it! Stop it! Get away from me, you weirdo! Susie said, waving her arm and stay chewing to me. But you said I was a baboon, I said, holding her face. Mom, Dad, Susie whined. Make him go away. He won't leave me alone. Freddy said, my dad, go sit down. It's not time to play. play. We need it to eat so you don't miss the bus. You still have to pack up your backpack. That reminds me, said my mom. We have to put the lovely valentine you made in your backpack so, so, so you can take them to school today. Such a nice job. I, I know the friends love you. I know your friends you're going to love. Oh, I know they will, she said, patting in the pocket. I think mine are going to be the best class this year, Susie said. You'd better move on. That interrupted. It's getting late. Yes, and my mom. Yeah, really big day today. I know you wouldn't want to miss it, little, 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 did you know how big it really was? Chapter 8, The Red Tomato. Red Tomato, Red Tomato, Red Tomato, Red Tomato. About. I couldn't concentrate in school because I could think about was giving to Jesse the Valentine and Reese. I keep going over my plan in my head. As soon as we went outside, as soon as we went outside, I would tell her to meet meet me behind the building. Then, when no one was looking. I would give her the super secret Valentine's. My thought were interrupted by Miss Washi. Freddy, you, do you know the answer? Robbie Elf bought me my message. Freddy, wake up. Miss Washi's talking to you. What, Miss Washi? I said. Do you know the answer? The answer is what? To my question. You need to pay your attention. And stop daydreaming, said Freddy. I know you're excited about the party later, but right now we have to do some work. Does anyone know the answer to my question, Mrs. Jack? Yeah. I do, I do, I do, I do, Chloe said, waving her hand widely in the air. She was dressed in all red, and her dress dress was red, and her socks were red, and her shoes were red. The hair ribbon were red. And of course she had painted her nail bright red. Jessie leaned over the whispered whispered. Look, it's a talking tomato. I had to bite my tongue to keep from laughing. Miss Wushy had to speak to me again. That again. Then I might get Time out, I put and and have to sit in the back at recess. That would ruin everything. If the bench, if I was bench, the then I wouldn't be able to give Jesse the Valentine. Yes, Chloe, what's the end? If I had seven Valentines and you gave me the team one, then I would I would have. Twenty valentines together. Too easy. Very good, Chloe, said Miss Wishy. That is correct. Chloe smiled and 
that of her eyes shut. Thank you, Miss Wishy. I've been practicing lots of tons. Max bowed his eyes shut. I've been practicing a lot of tons, he mewed. Chloe turned to Max and glared at him. Stop copying! Stop copying! Max mewed again. I said, Stop copying! Almost as cute. I just start copying me. I said, He, Miss Wishy had a big sign. Max, this is enough. Leave Chloe alone. If you bother one, one more at any time, you will not get to stay one for the party after me. That's not fair! Max squad. Oh, yes, it's fair, said Miss Wishy. Now sit in the chair over there, then behave. It was, this was your last warning. Max went to sit in the chair. He, chair. He, did, he didn't blame him. I didn't blame him. The rest, Max went to sit in a chair. He didn't say anything else the rest of the morning. I didn't blame him. Who would want to miss the fun party? Finally, it was time for recess. My heart was bleeding as I started walking in the playground. I grabbed Jesse and I whispered, Meet me behind the building, our secret hiding place. Why, she said back. Just go, I said. Jesse went first, and I followed her. I kept kept looking around to make sure no one saw back there. Max was chasing Chloe. At least he wasn't watching what we were doing. Then we got there. Jesse started laughing. That's so, what's so funny? I asked. Nothing, she said. You're just acting real funny. Why do you keep looking over my shoulder? Shit! I said, I don't want anyone to hear back. Here's that. So I. So what's the big secret? And I show now. Ever I reach into my pocket and pull the button back. Is this? This is for you. What is it? Jesse asked. Read it. Jesse opened up. To me. To Jesse, I really like being your friend. You're so cool. Will you be my Valentine from Freddy? My heart was beating so fast I thought I was going to pop my chest. I could feel my cheek getting redder, 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 and harder and harder. Now I was, I was like a wee bread. Tomato, I have to keep it a secret. I whispered, putting my finger to the lips. I don't want anyone to know about this super secret. Valentine, don't talk about it to anyone. Why not? She asked. Because, I said, just because. Okay, yes, she said, giggling. It will be our little secret. She pretend to zip her lips, lock them, and and throw the away the key. Now let's get out of here before next find us. I don't want people to know we are back here together. You go first. Jesse started to walk away, but I grabbed her by the back of the shirt. Wait, wait, Jesse turned around. Now what? Where's the Valentine? What Valentine? What do you mean? What Valentine? I don't know what you're talking about, said Jesse. Yes, you do, I said. The super secret Valentine you just gave you. Oh, you mean that one I'm not supposed to talk about? Jesse said laughing. Haha, <laughs> you're very funny. Where did you put it? I put it in a special hiding place. Jesse, don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Thanks for being such a great friend. And instead, give a bit, give her just a little push. Now get out of here before Max finds She turned his mouth and ran off. Two seconds later, Max found me. Well, looking here, he said, Look what found the baby Freddy Valentine's Moxie on a lucky day. No, nope, it's mine. I whispered to myself and smiled and took off running. I finished the book, and the next book will be. This book, Mercy Watson series. Bye.